It is time now for Better Books, and today it's all about love and romance. Lori Fazio from RJ Julia Booksellers is sharing some of her favorite books to read before Valentine's Day. And I, I just have a question. How do I say I love you in every language? Well, you have to pick up that book right there. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick any language that you want, and it's it's the pink book right in front of you. I love this. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So many different books, though, about Valentine's Day. So many yeah. books dedicated to love. Definitely. I mean, you know, every, every Valentine is different. So I brought a little bit, you know, of something, because you're not going to give the same book to to everybody. So yes, there is that one there. You know, you might want to do something different. You know, people are also trying to find ways to save money. So there's a few things in here that you can, you don't have to go out and buy an extra, extravagant uh, Valentine's gift. You but can, what a great gift though. What a great fun. gift idea. I would yeah. love to get a Especially book like Especially someone this about who's, that. you know, into languages and... Te amo. Te amo, that's Italian. And then Jamaican, me love ya. Me love ya. <laughs> There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> That's a, what a great book, though. Yeah, it's so fun. I thought it was really cute. And it's pink. It's, you know, yeah. and red you know, and pink. It, people might not be thinking about a book, but a book is something that can really last a lot longer sometimes than chocolates or flowers. And right. That's right. And it can last. It'll go yeah. on for months and months and months. That's and you true. can keep reading it. Th oh, they Cara, sure do. Let me just read to you in a different language. <laughs> English. Well, you do that. How about 1,001 Ways to Be Romantic? <laughs> <laughs> Again, so this gives all kinds of truth. There's music in there. There's books in there. There's movies in there. So there, there's ways to be romantic without going out and spending hundreds of dollars on a dinner or, you know, buying, like, jewelry. I mean, so there's other things that you can do. So this book has... Thousand and one things that you can do. I think it's you know just the simplicity of some of the ideas that people have. I think is just really clever. Like yeah. it doesn't need to be extravagant. Just show that you care and show you put ten cents or ten you know a thought into it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. I think it's, it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of cues that you want me to do something for Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> just kidding. Go You're ahead. Pick up that book. My television wife. <laughs> All right. So Giada can always put us in the mood for wonderful food yes. and love. Yes. And, and you know I chose Giada. Giada, but obviously, you know, we have tons of cookbooks, but Giada, you know, she's, you know, Italian, and of course, Italian is romantic food, also French food is romantic food, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if you want to cook dinner for someone, and, you know, great recipes. See, yeah, that, you know, that's why I think I'm single, Lori, because I think White Castle is romantic food. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get a date. That's just something from your childhood? You thought I, that was I fun? guess so, yeah. It, it could be the for the right person. <laughs> uh, you know, you just have to find the other person that thinks White Castle is yeah. romantic, too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I actually Perfect. remember loving White Castle. I'm not sure that I call it romantic, but... <laughs> Oh boy. How about uh, you write a love letter? Well, yes. And so this book is just gorgeous. And again, if you want to just write something, there's watercolors, there's ways to write. It doesn't even have to be calligraphy. It's so pretty. And there's just, you can write a letter, you can write a song, you could do a quote and, and give it to your loved one. Aww. Yeah. I'm just thinking of poems that I could write in calligraphy. Roses are red, violets are blue. Aren't these books something for you? Nice. Aww. Oh. Thank and you. how about How Do I Love Thee? <laughs> so How Do I Love Thee is the Elizabeth Barrett Brown poem. You know, that's the, everybody, you know, you probably know it. And they made it into a picture book. And it's just different ways and there's different, you know, kids Can in I see there. That? Of course. Oh, look, it's really the uh, uh, illustrations. It's gorgeous. the illustrations, but it's the, it's the poem that you know, but then it's, you know, different ways for these kids. You know, Isn't that clever? characters to show each other how they love each other and yeah. what they love, and you know, it could be anything. I love thee with a whisper and a song and a roar. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is a beautiful book. And along the same lines, so I chose um, this other book, Love, which is you know very much about a multicultural and it's what love means. And there's there's different things on each page. It just you know say love is this and love is that, and it just shows how we. We are all we just, one. We just love. We just love. You know? just like, we just that's love. That's what it's all about. It's it was love. the theme of the, the Super Bowl halftime show and certainly what the world is talking about right now, just that's kind of right. focusing on that love is maybe a little bit different than uh, just romantic love. So you've got that's a lot right. of different books. And that's good because not everyone has um, a date that they're that's going right. to go to. So right. we want to still celebrate. Which also you know leads me to we are doing um, at both the, Mad the Middletown store and the Madison store, um, Blind Date with a Book pop-up event. Oh. And so you can come in and you can, we're going to have little clues, we're going to have some books wrapped that we love and little clues on them and so you can have All a right. date with a book. Mirabelle's Missing Valentine's? Um, yeah, and this is an event at the Middletown store on Main Street on Saturday. So Janet Waller is a local author. Um, she's doing a story time and a little craft this coming Saturday at 1030. And this is such an adorable story. Mirabelle's a little shy. Um, 
I think she's a mouse. Yes, she's a mouse. Can you remember? <laughs> and she is on her way to school, and she doesn't realize she has a hole in her bag, and she's losing all her Valentines that she Aww. carefully made. Aww. But who got to enjoy the Valentines as she lost them along the way That's is awesome. really the sweet message. Well, Lori, we want to thank you for coming in. Thank you for Happy having Valentine's me. Happy Valentine's Day yeah. to you. And you as well. And I, love your and that, shirt too, and I hope Kara gets you something wonderful. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> What are you getting me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're going to find these books and many more at RJ Julia Booksellers. The shop is located on the Post Road in Madison. The website's rjjulia.com. RJ Julia also has a location in Middletown, too. It's uh, 413 Main Street. The web address for that store is wesleyanrjjulia.com.